New at 6, a defender's investigation into school safety after a disturbing case involving guns. Tonight, police sources telling us two people were seen posing with guns at what appears to be a local school. According to CMPD, the picture was found on a phone, and that phone was found last month at a middle school. So it comes within weeks of CMS's new security procedures, which includes wanding students and searching bags. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is live at 6. And Alex, do we know if this picture was actually taken on school property? Well, Sarah, our sources tell us that photo was taken at a school, but CMS didn't confirm that. It's clearly an issue on everyone's mind. Within weeks of images like this. Today, we launched our first safety screenings. A more disturbing image at McClintock Middle School. Police say two people seen on a device with guns. Sources tell NBC Charlotte the photograph appeared on a cell phone, which was taken at a school. But CMS saying they have no information that it happened on the school campus. It comes as teachers across our area have been very outspoken about school safety. I think safety is one of the most important things that we could talk about right now. And CMS took major new security steps after a Butler High School student was shot and killed inside school last year. After winter break, the district began searching student backpacks and using metal detecting wands. They stood up uh, into boy-girl lines. Um, they allowed us to look in deep into their backpacks and then they were wanted both on the front and back and side of their bodies. And teachers and staff have been going through active shooter survival training. We have dozens of schools that have already participated, uh, dozens more lined up. Our goal is to have all of our schools complete by the end of the year. In the latest case, sources say it's not exactly clear when the photo was taken. CMS saying they cannot release any information about the people involved because of federal laws that protect student privacy. Police say at this point no one has been charged in the case, but it is an ongoing investigation. For now, I'm live in Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. Alex, thank you.